Hi, it's Darla here again with my little continuation of my little mini series on aromatherapy. Today we're going to discuss tea tree and its properties. So let's get to it. Australians have been using tea tree to make medicine and for infections, sores, for centuries. In fact, uh, an area there in Australia, the trees grow by water little river and as the leaves fall into the water it would turn the water yellow and the Australians considered that a healing place they would go there and set in that water to heal their wounds or their aches so it's been known for a very long time the properties we just haven't used it commercially for you know since recently, 1920 is when actually it began. Arthur Penfold was the one that kind of started researching on this. And uh, Captain Cook, the pirate, was in Australia and he's seen a lot of the Australian people drinking this tea made from the leaves. And so he made tea from this tree and gave it to all his crew members to help treat Scoovy, Scroovy, Scoovy. Saying that wrong. So he, Captain Cook is the one that coined the phrase tea tree because he was getting tea from a tree that's back in the pirate's day. But 1920 is pretty much when we started using it, uh, recognizing it as a medical, you know, agent. Now, in World War II, the soldiers had, some of the soldiers had an outbreak of foot fungus to the point that there was hundreds that was hospitalized. Well, you know, you're having a war, you can't have a bunch of your soldiers in the hospital from something that, you know, is treatable probably. So they were trying everything, they couldn't get rid of the fungus, these guys were laid up in the hospital, they couldn't walk. And finally an Australian, Australian medic, <laughs> you have to excuse me, uh, but this Australian, Australian medic remembered tea tree from his home country. So he suggested, hey, let's, let's try this. And they made little potions and treated the soldiers. And in a few days, they were healed up. It was so effective that they issued a small bottle of tea tree in the soldier's first aid kit from that time on. So tea tree is a great bacteria buster. It covers all the antis, like antiviral, antibacteria, antifungal, antiseptic, antibiotic, and it's really great for infections, especially like on your toes, your, you know, the, you get those nail bed uh, infections, tea tree is great on that. It's uh, a good mouthwash, you can mix it with water. You never wanna drink stuff like this. Tea tree can harm you if you drink it, but to swish it around, dilute it in water, will help uh, get rid of bad breath in your mouth or any kind of infection you have. It's good for sores or wounds. Uh, it'll get rid of mold, dandruff, and deodorant. Now you gotta remember all these things like deodorant, 
is caused by a fungus. You know, you have those fungus under your arms, you've got all these germs on us and bugs, and you know, they get in little crevices. It's not so much your sweat that smells, it's the fungus that lives on that sweat. So making a deodorant out of tea tree will kill that fungus off. It's good to fight acne because once again, acne is that fungus under your skin. So any skin stuff, athletics, foot, it takes care of that. Ringworm, <laughs> I mean, a lot of us may not get ringworm or really know what it is, but it is that uh, fungus infection on your hand or arm. It starts eating around in a little circle. That's why it's called a ringworm, I guess. It goes in a circle, but it's a fungus and this will kill it. It's a good hand sanitizer, insect repellent. Uh, that's good to know. And I think that's about it. Now, it has been known to be a hundred times more powerful than carbolic acid. And carbolic acid is a uh, man-made chemical that was used in hospitals to kill uh, bacteria, but it was very poisonous. Tea tree kills bacteria, but it's not poisonous, unless you drink it. Any, anytime you drink aromatherapy, it could harm you. It's not for the inside, it's for your outside. This uh, carbo carbolic acid is used to make plastics, uh, a lot of stuff like that too. But it's a man-made chemical where tea tree, this is your natural chemicals. So it's a great bacteria buster. You can make a, a all-purpose cleaner to clean your house, you know, for your bathroom. You know, just mix it with some water, spray it on the, the area and, and clean it. It'll take care of uh, all these different types of bacteria and fungus, mostly fungus, mold. If you got mold in your bathroom, but take care of that. So it's a really great, inexpensive aromatherapy, essential oil. I think uh, a small bottle probably will cost you uh, around the range of $8. I mean, there might be some places that'll be a little cheaper, maybe 5 or $6. I would, I would recommend to have lavender and tea tree in your home at all times. If you can't afford any other uh, aromatherapy or essential oils, or you're skeptical, step, <laughs> or you're kind of worried about essential oils, these two cover everything. And with the proper use, you know, uh, they won't harm you. Okay, this concludes my little mini series on tea tree for this week. And if you like this kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. Or if you really like it, subscribe and help me out here and hit that notification button down below so you get notified when I up upload a new one. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we got eight more essential oils to go through. So I'll see you later, alligator. Bye.